Hundreds of thousands of people, perhaps even more than a million, in managed properties are about to face big increases in their service charges. It's because of a clarification from the tax authorities, HMRC, about what is and what isn't subject to VAT. Moneybox's reporter, Dan Whitworth, has been looking into this and is with me in the studio now. Dan, what's exactly happening here? Well, in early September, HMRC issued a notice explaining that service charges, so normally issued by management companies which look after residential properties on behalf of landowners, are subject to VAT. Now, that's not been the case in many examples going back several decades. And why is that? Well, a discretionary exemption for landlords from paying VAT on service charges was introduced 24 years ago. Now, that doesn't extend to third parties, meaning management companies, though. Now, HMRC has admitted its wording on this in the past could have been, quote, clearer, so it's not going after any VAT retrospectively. But it has said it will start enforcing the rules effective from 1st of November this year. Now, what that means is that if you're a leaseholder, or in a small number of cases, even a freeholder, in a managed property and pay a service charge, chances are that is going to increase. Now, Margaret Evans lives on a small retirement estate in Enfield in North London. I was shocked initially. Um, Fortunately, I have both a teacher's pension and my old age pension on which I am taxed. But this is another tax on top of everything else that is going up. And I'm concerned that a number of people here, not in the position I'm in, and probably have not much more than just their state pension. I mean, it's going to put them in a very difficult position. And again, it probably dependent upon their families, which is not easy to do because their children are also getting to the state pension age. And so I think it will really hit them hard because they have always managed their own affairs and they're still managing their financial affairs as best they can. But I can understand that they are actually quite worried. They won't talk about it to us or anybody else, but I know there are some that are really quite worried about everything going up, as they keep saying. Everything's going up. Well, Dennis Bruce lives there too and says he's also worried about some of his neighbours who he says are barely scraping by. I would say they will have to reduce perhaps uh, spending on heating, maybe even cutting down on food. One hopes not, but that may be the situation because they're only just making ends meet now. So anything extra will, will be most unwelcome. They won't necessarily ask for help and they will just go out a little less, spend a little less to pay the extra money that's going to be required. And the amount of money they're going to raise from this is not going to make a a terrible lot of difference to the government, but it will make one heck of a difference to the people who live in retirement developments. And in fact, I've also been speaking to Christine Williams from Bude in Cornwall, who got in touch with Moneybox about this. I and the rest of us here in in, uh, our block were horrified to think that this money, which had never been charged before, was going to be charged. Some of our residents been here ever since the place was built, 19 years, and it's never been charged before. And to think that we're going to have to find this extra money um, every month, uh, well, it it was just horrible. It simply means more money going out. I'm not going to say that I shan't be able to eat properly and that sort of thing, but it's just uh, more money going out every month. And already uh, I pay a a substantial uh, amount uh, for the service charge, council tax, ground rent, uh, a, a substantial sum every year, and this just adds to it. There are plenty of people here for whom it, it'll be uh, money they wish they didn't have to spend. In letters I've received from HMRC and from Mel Stride MP in the Treasury, they claim Oh, no, this is nothing new at all. It's always existed. But what I would like to ask them is, why have they not collected this tax for 24 years? Because there are people who live in this block, uh, have been here since it was built in the year 2000, and they've never had to pay this tax. Hmm. Do, Do we know, Dan, how many people are affected by this? It is very difficult to put any kind of precise number on that. Now, to get some kind of idea, I spoke to Dr. Nigel Glenn, who is the CEO of the Association of Residential Managing Agents, or ARMA. Well, it's likely to be only some of the larger sites. So people who self-manage, it's probably not going to be them. ARMA, we have 1.1 million leaseholds under our members guidance i would estimate there's about 700,000 outside of armor so we're talking somewhere in the region of potentially two million people that could be affected by this 
Uh, management agent companies are acting as the intermediate here. So HMRC has imposed this clarification, shall we say, and that means that VAT is being added to the service charges. Managing agents have to pass that on. They're not making a profit out of that. Uh, you know, their management fees are completely separate. So I'm afraid it's all going to the VAT, man. Well, Alan Pierce is a VAT partner at Blick Rothenberg. I spoke to him about his reaction to the latest moves. Alan, let's begin with what Christine said. Clearly very aggrieved. Says, we haven't paid this for 24 years. We shouldn't pay it now. What do you say to her and indeed to Dennis and Margaret and all the others who feel very annoyed and feel this is unjust? Yes, this problem really arose from um, a misconception of the guidance that HMRC issued back in 1994. Uh, Essentially, the the first thing to say is that the management service charges when charged by landlords to to leaseholders are exempt for VAT and will remain exempt for VAT. The problem is that when those service charges are outsourced to third party managing agents that was never included in the concession and therefore should have been taxed at with VAT at 20 percent but if one thinks about natural justice uh, it really doesn't matter to the tenant or the householder does it you know which type of company is running their flats it matters that their prices the charges might go up by 20 percent it doesn't seem fair to all of these money box listeners and i'm sure many others that's absolutely right and and what what hmrc have done here is they've taken soundings from the uh, the commission and of course vat is governed by the eu um so that really they don't have much choice other than to charge the vat they would be out with uh, eu regulations if they didn't correctly charge the right amount of tax well we've got limited time so we can't tackle the whole of brexit and how that might affect this right now but let's look at some of the specifics because vat is 20 percent so on the face of it it looks like then a lot of people might have a 20 percent rise in their charges that's not exactly how it might play out why no it isn't the case because Effectively, what happens here is that when the management service company incurs its costs, it will be paying VAT on certain costs. So when it recharges that to the landlord or directly to the uh, leaseholders or freeholders on the of, the of the residential properties, now that it's having to charge VAT, it can also recover the VAT on the cost that it incurs. So therefore, it shouldn't result in anywhere near a 20% increase in the management service fees. Right. Well, so people have got to be careful here because there might be price rises is sort of snuck in under the guise of these regulations if it's not 20 percent what do you think is a reasonable rate rise that people might face well i've seen anything from between 10 and 15 percent um, because what we're having here is it's not a case of vat at 20 percent being added to the service charge it's the service charge being increased to cover the additional cost of vat to the managing agent right now uh, there is theoretically a risk that hmrc could have said well it was always wrong. We're going to charge you going back 20-odd years, a retrospective tax. Well, they decided not to go back retrospectively, and I think the reasoning for for that is that um, the guidance that was issued, uh, both to their offices and to the industry generally, was less than clear, uh, and therefore they decided to introduce um, their uh, policy uh, with effect from the 1st of November. So no one's going to be pleased about this outside of HMRC, but the good news, I suppose, is it could have been a lot worse. It could have been, had they decided to look for back tax uh, going right way back to uh, well at least the last four years alan pierce many thanks well dan's still here in the studio dan what has hmrc got to say about all of this well in a statement they said quote we haven't changed government policy on this service charges payable by residents to a landlord are still exempt from vat uh, but a spokesperson i talked to made another point that many property management companies are already applying the rules correctly and that hmrc had to make this clarification for the ones that weren't all right thanks very much dan